This is the OnePlus Nord N20 5G disassembly. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and follow me on Twitter so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. And if you need any tools, there are links in the description. To start off, the sentry needs to be removed. Here's a better look at that. Now we need to apply heat to the back plate using a hairdryer or a heat gun to loosen up the adhesive underneath and then we're going to use a plastic pry tool to pry the back plate off. Here's a better look at the plastic back plate. There are 18 Phillips screws which need to be removed. Once the screws are removed, we need to place a plastic pry tool in between the back housing and the frame of the screen and run along the edges to pop off the catches. The back housing is also made of plastic. The camera lens covers can be replaced by applying heat and gently prying them off. There are some antenna lines drawn on this plastic piece on this side, which is light gray color lines, an antenna flex cable on the other side, as well as the NFC antenna in the center. There's also some graphite film to help transfer heat. And the LED flash is located over here. Taking a look at the other side, there are more antenna flex cables around the borders. And the vibrator motor is located on the bottom. The battery cable needs to be disconnected first. And then we can proceed to disconnect the rest of the cables. There's some graphite film and copper tape covering the connector for the front facing camera which needs to be peeled off. And then we can disconnect and remove the front facing camera. Here's a better look at the 16 megapixel front facing camera. There are two coaxial cables on the main board which need to be disconnected by popping them off. There's a single Phillips screw which is holding down the main board that needs to be removed. Now the main board can be lifted up and removed. On the main board, there's a 64 megapixel primary camera, a 2 megapixel monochrome lens, and a 2 megapixel macro lens, which comes through the opening over here in the main board, but is located on the mid frame, which I'll show you later. There's a secondary microphone underneath the shield, copper tape over the front shields, and rubber gaskets around the connectors. The camera connectors can be disconnected by just popping them off. Also, none of the cameras have OIS or optical image stabilization. The SIM card and memory card reader is located on the back and there's more copper tape and thermal paste on the back shields. Once the copper tape is peeled off, we can see thermal pads on top of the processor and RAM and some thermal paste over this chip. Here's a better look with the thermal pads removed. Now this flex cable, the cable for the screen, and the fingerprint reader cable need to be disconnected from the subboard, as well as the two other ends of the coaxial cable. And then the bottom speaker assembly can be lifted up and removed. Here's a better look at that speaker assembly. And there's a mesh filter over the opening. There's one more flex cable that needs to be disconnected from the subboard. Now the subboard can be lifted up and removed. The rubber gaskets are on the charger port, headphone jack, and the rest of the connectors. And the primary microphone is located underneath the shield. Here's a look at the other side. If you had to replace the screen, you'd have to remove the back plate, the screws and the back housing. You then have to disconnect the flex cables on the subboard and remove the speaker assembly and subboard, giving you access to the screen cable. At that point, you heat up the front of the phone where the screen is to loosen up the adhesive underneath, pry your old screen off, apply new adhesive, and reapply the new screen making sure you run the flex cable back to the opening in the mid frame and reassemble the phone. The fingerprint reader is held on with some adhesive. Moving on to the battery, there's a pull tab provided to help us pry the battery off.
Here's a better look at the 4500 milliamp hour battery. Once the battery adhesive pouch is peeled off and the black protective tape is peeled back, we have a better look at the copper heat pipe underneath which runs underneath the battery and the motherboard. And that copper heat pipe helps to transfer the heat. These flex cables connect the main board to the subboard. The flex cable for the volume keys is on this side and the flex cable for the power buttons on the other side and both of them are held down with some adhesive. So if you want to replace those, you'd have to just gently pry them off. Now moving on to the macro camera. The macro camera is located here on the frame and is connected to an extension flex cable which connects to the main board. So if you want to replace this, you'd have to just disconnect the flex cable from here and lift up and remove the macro camera. The proximity sensor board is located on top and that's held down with some adhesive. And the same goes for the earpiece speaker which is located right next to it. For the repairability score on this phone, I give it a 5.5 out of 10. Now it's time to put the phone back together. Once everything's back in place, apply new adhesive and reapply the back plate. Flip over the phone, power it on, and you're done. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.